Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So normally I'm always doing um, timely projects about two days before it happens, but <laughs> I thought it would be great to do a Halloween project and off the mat. So I wanted to make mini as big as possible. I like this image a lot because everything is broken into a lot of pieces. They are still gonna be big pieces, right? At however many inches we're gonna make her. I'm thinking around 50 inches. She's Each one of these pieces is still gonna be very sizable, but I'm hoping to not have many seams. I think our biggest issue is gonna be her face and her skirt. Um, I would love to do her at 60 inches, like five feet, but I checked earlier and her face is too big. Um, I don't want any seams in the face because with the light colored cardstock, it's not worth making it huge or making it like the awe factor is really ruined when there's a seam running down the face and there's nothing that I can do about it because the cardstock is so light um, especially with her she's not you know like if it was jasmine and we had well actually even with jasmine the material that I would use it would show and it wouldn't be good so um Let's check her out. I think around 50, 52 inches will be good. So let's go to the height and change it to 52. Um, and let's ungroup. Shrink down your screen to 25. Okay, so let's look at her face. We can highlight here. Okay, 10.8 by 11.6. Now we can rotate this a little bit and make sure that it's 11.5. So I think that's a good height. I already forgot what, what we did. We did 52 inches, okay. Um, all right, so 52 inches. Let's look at the hat and the skirt, okay? I think this hat's gonna be an issue, but, um, well, let's check it out. So let's hide all. It leaves us the skirt. Let's see how big the skirt is. The skirt is 13.7 by 9.4. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to twist it enough to, okay, so let's duplicate it for a second and we'll take this one to mess with it. Okay, so the way Design Space measures distance is the width 13.7 is from the most left to the most right. So it's going from here to here, what is that distance? And it's 13.7 and this is 9.4. So just think about it. That means if I rotate my image a little bit, I can change things. I have a little bit of, of wiggle room here from 9.4 to 11.5, right? So I can make this longer by doing this, right? Because now my most top and bottom is longer than it was before. And you can see my dimensions change from 12.48 to I mean, from 13 something to 12.48 and 10.6. Now I still have some room, right? I can go to 11.5. So let's turn this a little bit more and make this longer. Oh, perfect. 11.2 by 11.2. So her skirt does not need to be changed, does not need to be cut. You need to move it though, because the way it is, it's going to give you um, a warning sign that this is too large. All right, so now let's look at her hat. So let's use the same copy, go to contour. And this time we want the brim and not the skirt. So you can see, you can select from here and let's see how long this sucker is. So this is 20 inches by 6.2. I don't think that there's anything that we can do. Yeah, we can. So with this one, we're going to slice it. I'm going to change this. So see how there's two different um, shades of orange. There's a dark one and a light one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up this hat so that it's going to be my dark color orange. I have a, I like the Cricut orange. It is like this burnt orange and it hides the seams really well. So we're going to do that. You're not going to be able to see it on this because it's so thin anyway. I mean, look at this. This is probably like half an inch it's tiny you're not going to notice it with everything else looking so cool right but let's go and look at that um this part which means we're gonna have issues but do you see how there's like little indents right here and i think those are part of her eyelashes so I'm going to slice it right here where it's gonna be minimal you're not gonna notice it maybe 
um, right here and right here would be a good spot. Um, all right, so I think we're good on this piece. So let's close out that. Let's um, go back to the skirt, click contour because we contoured everything out. So hit hide all and then show all. Everything in that color is gonna pop up again. Okay, so this is, um, let's select all and see what we have, 52 inches. So let's save as mini 52 inches so that I can remember because <laughs> once we start moving things oh man I just forget what we have okay so 52 inches let's start working on this file her lips for instance is or her tongue we're just gonna move everything over we're gonna work color by color okay so for instance the white right here so let's, let's move this back for a second um, the white I mean, these are all pieces that we need. I don't want to weld anything. These are going to be sizable pieces. I would consider welding the cuff right here so that it's one piece, one less thing I need to line up. So I would do this. So let's go to shapes, bring in a circle. And I am going to do it because I don't want to deal with, we have so many pieces over here. I don't want to make the white so many pieces when I don't have to. So I'm making that circle pretty small, okay? So I'm gonna do something like this. Okay, so I have the circle. I'm gonna click on my white and I'm going to weld it. Oops. So you see that cuff right there? No one's gonna know that it's not supposed to be like that. But now this is one piece. Here's two and three. I can deal with these two pieces. On this side, it's just this and this is all one piece. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm okay with all that. All right, so let's move this white over. I'm gonna bring it down to the bottom so it's just a little bit easier to work with. And let's bring in a square because we're going to need to slice everything out. This thing as is is showing that the image is 28 inches across and 40 inches down. There's no paper that we have that would work with that, right? So, okay, let's make our square really big and let's start working from the bottom, okay? So her bottom right here is three pieces. So let's get this little corner, grab two items. We're gonna slice this out. We're gonna slice this little white piece out. So your slice results, you don't need that. And you can see now this little piece moves by itself. Okay, so let's make, let's do the next piece. Um, let's maybe do this one. You, when you're slicing, the, the one piece needs to be completely covered in the square or whatever shape you end up using and only that piece. Okay, so that way you can isolate this piece to be sliced out from the image, okay? And the reason why I did that one was because I wouldn't be able to get this one completely covered without running into that other piece. So now I'm gonna take these two items and slice. Now remember, you can only slice two items at one time, okay? So it's gonna be my white image and my square. All right, so this hand, even though it's technically three pieces, I'm just gonna bring in my square like this and slice out the whole hand. It's pretty efficient, like how it's placed. So I'm going to keep it together. And so when I take it off the mat, I'm just going to know, hey, these three pieces, it's the hand. All right, so let's go and take out this piece right here. So I know this piece is completely covered because it's not coming through right here. And I'm going to go from down and see how, um, I don't need to grab every part of the white. I just need to grab the square and a piece of the white and then slice. Okay, so this project is going to be relatively easy. We're gonna to need to slice up the brim like the hat. But other than that, I, I think all the pieces, we just need to un, like, we need to slice them away so that each individual white piece is separated, okay? And, and all the colors. So let's grab these two and slice. So this is gonna be quite the exercise of slicing, which is not a bad exercise to master. 
Um, you want to do this because you want to save space on cardstock. For instance, I always, for most of my off the mat projects, I always use glitter cardstock. So it's a little bit more expensive. I save the scraps. So um, it's important to separate them because then you can fit more items too and you can move it um, and make your next cut when you save it um, easier to deal with. Okay, so let's get rid of that. And I'm actually going to cut this tonight. So I probably won't piece it all tonight, but it will be mostly done, at least for pictures. Okay, so these are the eyes. I'm going to separate. I guess we can put in the eyes right here. Okay, so you see how the eyes are completely covered, but it's not touching this. So it's really important that that happens. Otherwise, you will get a messed up image. So let's slice that out. And get rid of your slice results. We don't need this in black or gray, whatever. All right, so our whites are done. Uh oh, I feel like design space is slowing down. Okay, so there's our white. I'm going to get rid of our rectangle. Or square. Um, okay, let's look at this purple. So the purple as is is 11.5 by 11.1. I would just cut this because there's, I mean, just because I don't want to slice this all out. But it's 11.5 this way. So I'm I'm going to turn it just a little bit so that it fits under designs. Oops. Let's see if I can. Okay, there. So now it's 11 by 10.8. Just by switching it up, I didn't need to slice it. I didn't need to do anything. So my purple's done. I'm going to move that out of the way. Um, okay, so we just have the orange, and then the face is good. So the face is 10.8 by 11.6. So we do want to turn her just a little bit and see if that works. No, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, 11, oh, close, 11.2 by 11.6. I'm gonna turn it a little bit more. 11.3, oh my gosh, okay. Oh no, is it gonna let me cut? Okay, 11.5 by 11.6. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna let my Cricut cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, but I'm gonna trick the system. I'm gonna say that I have a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. Cause you know, we use 12 by 12 cardstock, right? But Cricut only allows us to cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half. But when you tell it that you have 11, oh, you know what? Wait a minute. One of these pieces has to be under 11.5. So give me a second. Um, oops, I'm going the wrong way. One side does, okay, this is perfect. 11.489. So our width is fine, right? Because it has to be 11.5 or less. 11.6, it's going to think that we have a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. I'm only going to use 12 by 12. But this will let us kind of get the work around from that. Okay, so this piece is done. Um, this piece obviously is good. So all we have left is the orange. Okay, so let's move these pieces out of the way. There's so many pieces. Hold on, let's move this and this out of the way. Okay, now with our two orange pieces, we know that we want to self, um, separate the brim and make it the dark orange, right? Everything else I think was good. We didn't need to slice the skirt. So really we're just slicing right here. Um, now, you see how it's not a straight line where we want to slice it? My favorite trick is to go to your text and put in I Love Glitter. If you don't have this font, go download it. It's called I Love Glitter, which I do. <laughs> it's from Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. It's free. So, all right, so we selected that one. You want the square bracket, the one to the right of the letter P, okay? So on your keyboard. 
to the right of the letter P, okay? And I like using this little glyph because it has a little bit of a curve to it. So when I turn this over like this, oh, wait a minute. I use this when I want a deliberate seam and I don't want a deliberate seam. So I take it back. That's good for another project. What we want is, yeah, we're just going to want, oops, go to shapes and let's do, let's do a square and we're just going to do a straight line up here. Okay. Sorry. We, we want to keep this to make it look like it's one piece. I'm using a dark orange so that the seams won't be noticeable. So we just want to slice this. I was thinking of something else. Um, all right, so let's use our square right now and let's um, get all these pieces separated from each other, okay? So here we go. This is, a, it's, it's a, a lot of pieces, so I apologize. I know it's, it's a crazy project. All right, so this, you see how I was able to isolate that little piece? So grab that, slice. We're just slicing one thing at a time. I'm gonna turn this over so that I only get this piece over here. Now I have this um, gray piece as well as the orange, right? But I'm still not gonna move that gray piece. I'm gonna grab the orange and my square this way. And you see, it still lets me slice because I didn't grab this even though it's in my view and in my orange. I didn't, I, my mouse didn't pick it up so you can still slice it. So that's a really important distinction to make like when you're slicing and what you can do. All right, so, all right, come on. So these two pieces I don't need, right? The grayed out pieces. So you can delete them here. Okay. And see now, these two pieces are not part of that anymore. Okay. Um, you need to slice all of this out, okay? I'm not going to keep you on here to do that. I'm going to show you just what I would do with the hat, and then we'll do the black because the rest is just slicing. I don't think you need my help with that now that you've seen me do it so much, but we need to isolate this hat out, okay? So I'm gonna do that by bringing this up. I'm gonna turn it this way. Now, rem I'm not worried about all the other pieces. I just need to unlock this. I wanna make sure I cover my hat from the bottom of this orange piece, okay? So that is good, okay? So I'm gonna grab these two pieces and slice. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Get rid of this. Okay, so these two pieces are now together. Not a problem. We just need to um, go to shapes, bring in another square, and we'll slice this one out. Come on, be bigger, come on. So we wanna slice it out and it's not letting me make this square bigger. So let's try it again. Okay, here we go. So there, and let's slice out this top part of the hat, okay. I'm gonna get rid of that. Get rid of this. Okay, so now this piece is separated. Now again, and this hat, because we did it, it's now its own piece. All of this still needs to be separated, okay? Now with the hat, I wanna separate it from the brim, okay? So what you would do is, because it's so close and it's, it's gonna be hard to isolate one item from the other. So I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna use contour. When I use contour to separate things, 
Um, however many pieces I want to separate it into, I need that many copies. So this is going to be two separated pieces, then I need two copies. So I'm going to duplicate it. So here's my two. My first one's highlighted, right? I'm going to go to contour and I'm going to hide that top slender piece. So see, I have the bottom piece. Now I'm going to go to the top piece and go to contour and I want to hide the bottom piece because I want just the top piece now. And there, now I have my hat, but it's separated, okay? Let's go in and bring in a square, and we're gonna slice this up into three pieces, one right here and one right here, so it'll be our three big pieces, okay? Okay, so let's look at this and see what we have here. So I kinda want it, I kinda want it to match, um, like that angle, okay? So I'm gonna grab this and this and slice. Then I'm gonna take the same piece, I'm gonna turn it this way as soon as I can. Okay, I wanna match it to this one, okay? So I'm gonna do something like this, okay? I'm in a lot of traffic, right? So I'm gonna try to grab this by doing, uh, I'm gonna move this guy out of the way because I think he'll be a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna, come on. Okay, I'm gonna grab it like this and slice. I'm gonna move that aside. Let's look at this hat. Okay. So what's cool is, oh, and I didn't even do a good slice. It didn't go, it's okay. It's still, so this piece is 7.6, this piece is five inches, and this piece is eight by four. Now, when I go to cut this, what I wanna do is I wanna, okay, so this is the way the hat goes, right? I wanna make sure that I'm gonna try to cut this all on one piece of paper, and I'm gonna show you right now. And I want to keep it parallel to where it is because that way the grain of the paper is going to align. I know it's crazy, but your glitter cardstock has a grain. So I'm going to make a copy of this so I can show you what not to do and what to do. Okay, so let's duplicate this now. So you know we have a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? Or yeah, let's. So let me put that on here now but I'm gonna make it 11.5, okay? So I'm gonna change this to 11.5. This is, I'm doing this because I'm in my mind, this is gonna be my cut, my cut image, okay? So I'm gonna go arrange, send to the back, and I'm also gonna make it white just so that it's not bothering me, okay? So this first piece, I'm gonna keep it looking like this, okay? I'm just gonna shift it over and I'm only moving up and down. I'm not gonna twist this at all, okay? So by doing this, all three pieces are gonna be in the same direction of the grain. It will be seamless, okay? So I wanna do this. This is not gonna help me save paper. Oops, let me undo that. It's not gonna help me save paper. What this does is it's gonna help me look seamless. Okay, oops, I did too much. Okay, so let me move this over like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this piece of paper. No, there. I'm gonna move it over. I'm gonna grab these three pieces Come on, okay. And what I wanna do with these three pieces, I'm gonna weld it. I want it to cut exactly like this. These three pieces together on the same piece of paper, all with the grain facing the same way, okay? Now let me show you what you don't wanna do, okay? So here's our still our cut piece, right? So here's the same piece. This is what I don't wanna do with this. I don't want to try to be efficient and I'm gonna, ro oops, sorry, I rotate it too much. I'm gonna rotate it like this, get this in here like this, and then this little guy, I'm gonna try to make him fit here, and then this guy, 
let's see, can I make this work? I don't know, like what if I twist him around? Hold on. Um, let's see, actually, can I make this work? Can I make this super efficient? I think I can, okay. So this, let me see if I can get that in there. Oh no, it's close. Okay, I think I can, hold on. Mm, I don't think I can get that in there. But what I can do is make this, let's see, let's put him up. Sorry, this is so many pieces, so it it's slowing down my system a little bit. Actually, it would curve up like this. Okay, so. All right, so I'm gonna pull away this piece. What I don't want is to save my my the space of my orange cardstock right now. And look, so this these three pieces, it's 11.4 by seven. I can cut this and then I could save a lot of cardstock next time, right? Because this file is 10.3 by 9.8. While it's not as efficient as this one, this one, I changed the rotation. So with the grain, when I put it up, you're gonna be able to see the seams more because they're not all facing the same direction. Whereas this one, it is all still facing the same direction because it's still, um, if I just move it, it without twisting, it will go back to the three pieces. All right, that's all I'm gonna say about this because if you don't get it, you don't get it. And I'll try to explain it on a different project. <laughs> so let's delete our duplicate because we don't need it anymore. Now on this one, I'm just gonna slice it in the middle somewhere like this. Let's see, how big is this piece? 20, so I kinda need to be, let me see if I need to move this in a little bit more. Okay, there, let's slice it right there. I'm gonna grab these two and slice. Okay, good. Now these two pieces, you will also want to cut the same. So I'm gonna just move this down, see if I can get this like this. And let's see, these two, okay, I'm also going to weld this. So it's gonna be on the same grain as my other one. And then all these pieces will fit in there. That's how I'm gonna try to make this efficient, by putting other pieces in. Oh, and the other thing is, I wanted to make this, these two pieces, my dark orange, right? So I'm doing everything that I can to make this file look seamless, even though it's not. So I'm changing the color to my dark orange because I don't think people are gonna notice it. It's gonna be the same grain facing the same way when I cut it. So when I put it back together, it's gonna to look flawless. <laughs> okay, so that's that. That was the only trick to this one. I think everything else, what's left is the rest of the light orange and the rest of the dark orange to slice out all these pieces so that we can make it more efficient on the mat and also for the Cricut to allow us to cut it, right? Because our light orange right now or our dark orange right now is 31 inches by 40 some inches. It's too much. Okay, so I'm gonna move it aside. Let's save it for a second. And I'm gonna show you how to cut up this black, black this black background. <laughs> okay, so it's saved, great. So we have this gigantic piece, right? 33.211, I didn't notice that. Um, okay, and 52 inches. So let's stack three columns by five columns. So we're gonna need 15 squares, okay? And the reason why we need 15 and why I want to do it this way is we're going to make, we're basically going, let me move this out of the way. We are going to build a three by five of squares and they're all going to be right next to each other, flushed, no gaps and no over overlays. Um, they're just going to be flushed so that when we go to assemble these 15 pieces again, we're making this background into 15 pieces that the Cricut can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. 
when we work with those 15 pieces, they're gonna be easily easy to push back together because they're all seamless and they're all gonna have straight edges and you just push them up against each other and tape it down and it will be the best way to make it seamless, okay? It's not gonna be seamless because we're using black, I'm using 65 pound black cardstock. You're gonna be able to see the seams, but remember all these colors are gonna sit on top of it. So it's gonna be able to hide the seams. So what you're gonna see really is what's left is the, the minimal seams on the side, okay? All right, so let's build our squares. So let's, this is our first square right here. Oops. We're gonna make it 11 by 11. Let me move my face. Okay, so let's go over here, change it to 11. Okay, and just put it somewhere up here, like that. Then we're gonna go to the position feature. We're gonna put in coordinate coordinates for our X and Y. So X is running across up here and Y is running up and down. So I'm gonna round to the nearest whole number. 20.5 becomes 21 and two is already whole, so we're good. I have one, right? I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna put the next one over here. If I put it close enough, I don't need to do any math except rounding up so or rounding to the nearest whole number. So now my X coordinate is 32.22, make it 32. 2.056 becomes two, okay? And I'll show you the math. So this one, you're, we're basically saying X coordinate is 21, so go over to 21, go down to, that's the start of our rectangle. So if this is 21 and our paper is 11, 21 plus 11 is 32. Yes, 32. <laughs> okay, so let's duplicate. Let's put this one here, make it flush by going to our coordinates here, round it to 43, and it's already at two, perfect. Now we're gonna grab these three squares because they're already flushed. So hit your shift key, go over to the right-hand panel and select the next two squares. So you can see these three are highlighted. Those are the selected ones. You can see it here. We're just gonna duplicate because they're already flushed, we're gonna get a copy of flushed squares. So here we go, put it close enough. This is already at 21, we'll round this to 13. Now, what we can do is we can grab all six squares and duplicate. And here's our next six already flushed. Put it really close, 21 is good. Change 24.146 to 24. Okay, and we need one more set. So I would just select here, hit shift, select this and this one and duplicate. Okay, and let's do this. This becomes 21 and 46. Okay, so we're good. Now, scroll over, go to your right-hand side panel, scroll all the way to the bottom, click on our black background and arrange, send to the front. Now we're gonna look to make sure that where we're slicing makes sense, okay? And let me show you where it doesn't make sense already. If we cut this the way, I mean, you know, the way we, we see it right now, do you see how this little, I'm gonna scroll in just so that you can zoom in a little bit so you can see. You see how this, this corner is gonna slice off just a little piece of that hat and a little piece of this. I don't want that. I want 15 decent sized pieces. I don't want to deal with one small piece here and this tiny thing. First of all, I need to keep track of it. Then I got to tape it. No, we don't want that. We want big pieces. Okay. So let me scroll back out for a second. The other thing that we need to handle is, do you see this bag is sticking out? So we'll need to fix that as well. So let's just move this to make sure that we like, okay. So what I, the reason why I just did what I did is I wanted this shoe piece to be um, big pieces, okay? It was sitting like this. I don't want a piece right here. Um, I don't want this. So I'm gonna move this down and see where that gets me, okay? And some pieces, I mean, it's just, you're gonna have to, compromise a little bit okay so 
let's see what we have here. Now the hat is good. That's gonna be a much more sizable piece that I can handle. Now where we run into an issue is right here. This is not far over enough. So what I'm gonna do is grab your mini, arrange, send to the back, okay? And we're gonna grab, oh, it's two rows. Okay, hold on. Let's bring her back to the front. Arrange, send to the front. Okay, so we don't want that. What we want is something like, okay, that's gonna be by itself. I'm gonna try and make it a more sizable piece. Okay, so now the shoe is in three pieces. The bag, the skirt, gosh, it's just like, never ending okay <laughs> so now the bag is kind of sitting out by itself i don't love that oh, okay so now the hat is a big piece okay so let's see if that works better let's move this hat up a little bit oh now this base is a small piece oh my gosh it's just, it's just not, let's see if we move it up. No, I don't want that. I want this. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when you just have really, a really big image. I'm going to have a small piece right there. And a small piece right there. <laughs> okay. Hey, it just is what it is. All right, but this lunchbox or whatever it is, we gotta deal with that. Okay. Oops, I gotta move her up a little bit because her shoe. Okay, so if I do that, let's see what we have here. That piece is annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so let's arrange, send her to the back. And we have this little lunchbox to deal with, right? So let's grab these three squares, hit the shift key and grab all three. And use your arrow key and just shift to the right enough to cover that purse. It's moving so slow, sorry. We're almost there. And actually I could just move it over like this and let's see, and round to the nearest whole number. This is also a good reason why we do what we do because we wanna make sure that um, we could do that because we know exactly what this should be. This should be 24. Let's see if that works. Okay, yep. Okay, so now let's go back and scroll down, get the image, send it to the front. So arrange, send to the front. Now she's all covered. We still have this little piece right here. I mean, it just is what it is. Let's start slicing, okay? Um, all right, so we don't need this, this square. Actually, nothing's in this square, and nothing's in this square. So we can just delete that. I think we're good. Okay, so let's grab one square and the image and start slicing this into pieces that the Cricut can cut. Okay, grab this middle one. I'm just gonna go from one side, go up, over, and down to systematically slicing mini up. Okay. And I hope you understand why I did. I mean, that that would that took a little time, but it's worth it in the end. Um, you, you know, you wanna know where you're slicing and if it makes sense. Oh, hold on, undo. I didn't wanna move the piece, right? I wanna slice it. So let me go up a little bit higher, grab this and slice. 
grab this and slice. We're almost there. Grab this and slice. Whoops. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to move some things around right now because I can't. Oh. And sometimes Cricut does that, Design Space does that. Undo when you get a weird slice, that's okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move some of these pieces over and kind of keep them in the same order because that will help you piece it together later, okay? Because if you just get this or like this little piece, it's kind of hard to remember where everything goes. That's still part of the thing. Let's get the hat over. Okay. Oh my goodness. I didn't notice that. That's okay. That piece isn't going to make it. <laughs> it's not going to make it to it. And I'm going to grab all of this and delete. We don't need the slice results. Okay. We don't need this or this. Or this. Okay, let's continue slicing. Okay, so we've got this piece. It did it again. Undo. We'll do that piece last. Sometimes it's a glitch in the system and it just won't stop. So let's do this piece. Slice. This piece. I mean, hopefully I won't need to save it and close it and open it back up, but we'll see in a second, okay? Why won't it let me slice? Oh, because it's not attached, okay. So let's move this piece over. This piece over. And up here, I'm gonna grab this and delete that. Okay, let's slice this. No, oh, it didn't let me slice because that's already a towel. Okay, let's see. This piece is here. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so this piece is over here. So you can see like if I just saw this piece, I mean, who knows where it belongs, right? But this helps you just know where everything is aligned. Okay, let's see. Let's grab these two. And it didn't let me slice, because did I already slice it out? What happened here? So let me slice this. This goes over here. Let's look at this piece. This is already sliced, okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab these two pieces. This was the one that's been giving us problems. So let's see if by going this way around, this way around was fine. So that's one piece. This goes here. This is getting complicated. <laughs> this goes here, okay. And this is our final piece that goes over here. So let's get rid of all this stuff over here. All the gray pieces we don't need. Okay. Okay. So this is basically mini, and you can see how like it's a little complicated. I'm this little piece, I oh you know what? Hold on. Contour. It's in two pieces. It's gotta go. I I don't care. It's not gonna make it. So I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna remove it. I'm not even gonna bother cutting it. This is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be missing like a little piece of that hat. No one's gonna notice. Okay, so this, 
Now this is in two pieces. I'm gonna separate them. So I'm gonna duplicate it and go to contour and I'm gonna get rid of the bottom piece. I'm gonna select it to get rid of it. So here's my bottom piece here. I'm gonna click on this piece and I hit contour and I'm gonna get rid of the bottom piece and I'm gonna have just the top piece. And there's my top piece, okay? This way, this can go with maybe this piece. We're just trying to cut down on the number of pieces we're cutting. So this one is two pieces as well, I think. Yeah, okay, so let's duplicate that. Go to contour, or you could slice, but I don't wanna bring in a square right now. I'm just trying to quickly go through this. So I left the, so I need the triangle, so I'm going to do this, click on the triangle this time, and go to contour. And I don't want this piece because I need the triangle. All right, so we've got that. This goes here. I think the only other piece that's attached, we have maybe two more pieces. Okay, these two and this one. Everything else is separated, okay? So you want to slice, slice out these three pieces and these two. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to save it. I hope this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, I highly recommend finding another one of my characters where we only do 30 inches, 24 to 30 inches, because this was really, really big. And so there's a lot of moving parts. So it's a little bit hard to maybe grasp if this is your first project. <laughs> if it's your first project, oh my gosh, don't do this one. Um, do a smaller one. Do one of my Cinderella or Snow White or something like that. All right, I hope this was helpful. I will see you back when I'm piecing it together. All right, bye guys. <laughs>